to our Vastek channel. This is Vasant Naik from Kendra Engineering College. Today I will explain the seventh experiment of 18 CSL 48 uh, uh, syllabus of VTU for the fourth semester CS and IS student of a microcontroller and embedded system lab. The experiment is the number is seven and experiment name is arrange the numbers in either in ascending order or a descending order. Okay. Now, first, let us see the program now. This is the program for ascending and descending order. But before uh, moving into the program, let me explain the logic uh, how the numbers are uh, arranged either in ascending order or a uh, descending order. So, here, let me take four numbers 4, 3, 5, 2. It is not arranged either in ascending or a uh, descending order, it is in random way, uh, random order. So, what I will do is I will write the number 4, 3, 5, 2. Uh, in uh, vertically like this uh, and I will compare 4 with the 3. If the number, uh, see in my case, uh, I, I am writing the program for uh, ascending order. Now, the, four, the first number is uh, greater than second number. That means, uh, this number has to be interchanged. So, what I will do or this number has to be exchanged. So, in the second column, second column, I will write uh, in the exchange number in like this way and rest of the numbers, uh, I will write as it is. Now, I will compare the second number with third number. Second number is uh, lesser than the third number. That means, second number is uh, in uh, second and third numbers are in ascending order. So, uh, no need to change or exchange. So, I will write the number in the same way, same order. And now, in the third comparison, uh, I will compare 5 and 2. Now, 5 is greater than uh, 2. That means, I have to exchange. So, here you can see the number is exchanged. So, this one, this much is called as one pass. I have taken four numbers in one pass, uh, three comparisons are there, one, two, three. Like this, uh, you have three pass here. Why three pass? Whatever result you got here is not complete result. This is the first stage or first pass. So, in order to get the complete uh, this one uh, uh, result, uh, you have to continue three more pass. Uh, you can see here. Uh, once again, I have to write uh, this output, uh, sorry, this uh, this one uh, numbers in the same way and I have to apply the same logic. Uh, then once again, third, third pass also, I have to repeat the same thing. Here, three passes are there. Why? Because the, I have taken four numbers. That means, if you have taken four numbers, uh, four minus one, three comparison in each pass and three pass, three pass. Suppose, if you take n numbers, uh, n minus 1 comparison in each pass and uh, n minus 1 pass. So, this is the logic. Finally, you will get uh, here you can see you will get ascending numbers 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the logic. Let us move to the program now directly. So, uh, as usual, the every program starts with the TTL, it is but optional, uh, TTL means title, ascending or descending, in our program we will say first uh, ascending. So, area, area uh, refers to the area you are written the program and it is the label is given pro program 7 and it is a code, uh, it is uh, meant for code and it is uh, finally it is mapped in read only. Now, before starting this one, uh, let me explain you about the data, how you have stored the data. Here you can see we have stored the data. We have taken four numbers. So each number is 32 bits. Uh, four numbers. So it is not in uh, either ascending or descending order. It is in random order. So the number is type for DCD. DCD means all uh, defined constant data. That means all numbers are 32 bit numbers and it is aligned with the uh, memory boundaries. Uh, memory boundaries because ARM uh, memory boundaries are something like a 0, uh, then uh, 4, something like that. Multiple of 4. It is something like that. So, the name given to this uh, uh, first memory location of this uh, this one, this number is array. Next, uh, I have taken one more area. The name of the area is uh, DST. Why I am taking this area is, uh, see the numbers are here. It is in, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, random order. Suppose I want to extend the area uh, number. I want to swap the number. That time, this area is uh, read only. I cannot do that one. That is why what I will do is, uh, I will take the separate area for this one and that area I will uh, do the swapping. So, in order to do the swapping in that area, first you have to copy all these numbers to this area. Then you may ask the question like why can't we take uh, numbers like that only? 
you can take sorry numbers like in uh, uh, the, all the numbers in this area only uh, yeah you can take all the numbers in this area not, uh, no, it's not a problem means uh, in this area but uh, here we want to show you the our original numbers uh, and uh, our uh, modified numbers okay now let's move to the num uh, this one other section of the program the other section of the program you see here uh, uh, it starts with the uh, entry then as i said i have to i want to move all the numbers from array to one more area destination the name of the area is dst uh, the motto is simple or uh, the aim is simple later you can swap the number that is not read only area that's why so first i will load the address of that array in register r2 address of the dst in register r3 simple then take the number from this area from this let me show this one take the number from uh, array and load here then store this in uh, now r4 contains that number store this in uh, destination first take the number from array load to the register r4 whatever there in the register r4 store in a destination now subtract r1 r1 by 1 because we have four numbers we have we want to store all the four numbers from one area to the other area so subtract r1 by 1 compare r1 whether it is reached zero if it is reached zero the counter is zero then uh, come out otherwise uh, repeat uh, till all numbers are numbers will get copied uh, to the other area this is the first section of the program clear the numbers are copied yes keep watching next okay so now second section of the program is uh, i will take one more register in the register i will load the register with the value 3 what is 3 i told you already number of pass that is 3 and inside the each pass number of comparison uh, that is 3 that i will load in r1 so r7 contains number of pass r1 contains number of comparison now let me take the number once again here 4 3 5 and 2 uh, in our case this is a number okay yeah first uh, load the register r0 with this address these numbers are stored in uh, we know dst area so load the register r0 with the address dst address after that anything in bracket means uh, address content of that address is moved to R two, that is number four is moved to R two. Number four is moved to R two. Now increment the base register. Increment the base register. Earlier base register was pointing to DST. Now increment the base register. Increment the base register means it will point to second number. Now from this uh, second number is loaded. From this location second number is loaded to R three. That is three is loaded. Now three is loaded to R three. So uh, let me write here. R two and R three. R two contains R two contains four and R three is equal to three. Fine. Now compare R two and R three. Compare R two and R three. I told you in our, uh, our earlier case. Uh, suppose the numbers are if you write the numbers like this four three five two. So. since we we are writing program for ascending order compare this one and this one then you have to exchange because uh, this is greater than this this one so you have to exchange 3 and 4 you have to exchange the number 3 and 4 and rest of the number you have to write uh, as it is okay now you are compare branch less uh, lower or same branch lower or same branch if lower or same branch if lower or same check means uh, the first number is uh, lesser than second number it will go to the label check 
In our case, it is not so. That means uh, we have to do swapping. So how to do swapping? To do swapping, here you can see two. So in our case, let me write here once again. Four is a four and a three. This is the first number. This is the second number. First number is greater than the second number. So we have to exchange the number, right? And the pointer is here. Base address pointer is here. You have to exchange the number. So what I will do is, uh, I will. Uh, so I will copy R two to R zero. R two. R two contains four. This I will copy to R zero. Clear? R zero. Now. Decrement the address by four. Now the pointer will come here. Pointer will come here. Now copy R three R three to this address. Got my point? R three to this place. Copy this number to this place. This number to this place. After that, once again increment the pointer by four. Why? Now the pointer is here. Address pointer is here. So now. In our case, uh, you know, see suppose if you take four, three, five, two, two four numbers. First case, what you will do? You will swap the number three and four, and you will write rest of the number like this only on paper, right? Then second time, which number you have to compare? Four and five, four and five. Now after swapping here, this becomes a three and four. Now this number. Now subtract R one with three. R one is the comparison. R one is equal to sorry. Subtract R one with the one. R R one is earlier case. R one is one. Three. Three minus one is equal to two. It comes to two. And check whether R one is equal to zero. Whether this you have compared all the numbers here. No. If it is not zero, repeat. Otherwise, if it is zero, means your first pass is over. First pass is over. Then what do you have to do? Then Then you have to check whether pass is over. That means you have completed all the pass. Right now one pass is only over. So for that also you have to subtract one from the R seven and compare R seven is equal to zero. If it is not zero, then it will go to pass. It will come here and it will repeat. Otherwise, otherwise it will stop. So in this way the program works. Very important program for. This is see here. Uh, one thing you have to remember. We use a branch if lower or same, but this is for ascending. For descending, a uh, descending, you have to use a branch. If higher or uh, same HS, or you sometimes you can use a branch HI higher. This also you can use branch if higher or uh, same. That is for a uh, descending now uh, descending order. This is for a uh, ascending order. Okay, now we will go to the program and we will see how it uh, works. Uh, So this is uh, the micro vision keel version four, and the program is already loaded in the, in the particular uh, project group. And you can see here uh, we have right. Uh, I have written this program for ascending order. So let me write here lower or same for ascending order. And you see, this is the number. This is the number. These numbers are not in order. It is in random order, not in ascending order, or not in descending order. Random order. So ascending order means two to uh, two to should come three next five next nine. Descending means ulta reverse. Okay. So now let me uh, compile this program. First build zero errors. and rebuild and compile okay over go to debug 
okay so what i will do is uh, i will try to execute the program directly by using uh, run at once yeah this is over now now you have to check uh, uh, the result in memory window here it is a memory window and you can see the number is uh, 222 first 333 this is in the uh, ascending order you can see here see you can see here uh, let me magnify this one uh, see first number second number third number and uh, fourth number in the memory location 400 what was our number order earlier? See, this is our number order. Now, let me repeat the same program for descending order. I will come out from this uh, debug session. And uh, what I will do is, I uh, will change the one instruction. What is that instruction? Uh, what is that instruction? Come on. What is that instruction? Yes, correct. So you have to replace B L S with the B branch I R or same branch if I R or same and uh, save the program zero errors zero warnings now go to debug now see now window memory window okay now execute at once and you can see number is in the descending order let me magnify and show you see number is in the descending order now so with this uh, we have completed uh, seven experiment of uh, software section uh, one more experiment is pending please uh, keep watch my video you, I will post that also in my next video. If any comment, you can pass the comment in uh, feedback uh, uh, section. Thank you. Bye-bye.